four now in this week's four year community friends of the public garden one of the oldest park advocacy groups in the country working to protect and improve boston's first public parks here's anna redis rodriguez joining me this morning is liz visa the president of friends of the public garden liz always great to see you thank you for your time today so great to be here anna redis thanks for inviting me your organization for decades has been an advocate and a partner with the city in caring for our city's most treasured green spaces. Tell us about the work that you do. Yes, well, we have been around since 1970. Uh, it was a time when the parks were almost beyond saving and we worked very hard to bring them back from the brink, advocate against a major development that would have been incredibly damaging to the garden and the common. Way back then, all of parks in, in urban environments were in bad shape and this is no exception in Boston. So we worked very hard first advocating and then partnering with the city. Uh, in the beginning, we spent only $500 to take two diseased elm trees out of the garden. They were diseased with Dutch elm disease and fast forward to today when we spend over $2 million every year to care for the Boston Common, the Public Garden, and Commonwealth Avenue Mall, caring for over 1,700 trees, 30 acres of turf, 42 pieces of sculpture, and capital projects and programming, making sure these parks are welcoming to all. And it's not just, they are not just beautiful places, but they're beautiful, inclusive places. You're slowly opening up different attractions like the Frog Pond and the Swan Boats. Um, and you are commemorating 50 years, and you're doing so with a thought-provoking project that is also its sort of own destination. Yes, it's very exciting. So we, in celebrating a half century of stewardship and partnership, we have transformative projects in each of the three parks. And for the common, as I said, we take care of over 40 pieces of public art, some of incredible significance like the Shaw 54th. But this is a departure for the friends. We're bringing a temporary art installation to the Boston Common, working with curators now and there and nationally recognized public artist Janet Zweig. We began working with her in 2019 before the pandemic and she immersed herself into the common. What does it mean? What is its history? What does it mean to be a common place, a place for all? And she came up with this guiding question, what do we have in common? And creating what will come out into the common on September 22nd, be there for a month. It's interactive. We encourage everyone to come and engage with guys who will be at this big cabinet with the question, what do we have in common on it? There will be 200 locks lot compartments inside the cabinet. In each one of them, there will be a beautiful jewel-like container or box with a question, who owns these trees? Who owns the moon? Who owns our future? And there will be opportunities to engage with these guys who will be enacting the work of caring for these spaces. You also help other park groups organize. Recently, you hosted a mayoral forum. If people want to get involved or they want to donate to help, maintain our spaces, how can they connect with you? BostonParkAdvocates.org, go take a look at the video from that night. If you weren't able to come, take a look at the slideshow showing the over 100 community partners from every neighborhood in Boston that sign on to support this. Take a look at the fact sheet of how much Boston has in terms of green spaces and how much more we need to support financially. And please donate. We're going to continue our campaign. We're making sure that every candidate for mayor of Boston knows and understands the importance of green space to everybody in the city. Liz Visa, president of Friends of the Public Garden, thank you for the work you all do. Thank you so much, Anaris. It's a pleasure to be with you. Great to see you. We'll be right back.